So I went to school with her brother and he was a close friend of mine and wanted me to be his photographer for his wedding. And I met Elizabeth there and we didn't really talk that much. We were just busy doing our own thing. We were, we were being a photographer, I was being a bridesmaid. A year after that, I was in Malaysia visiting my family and I saw that you followed me on Instagram and I was like, wait, who is this guy? I forgot. And then I was like, oh, that's the photographer. And then we just started texting and then when I came back to America, I needed to go to Michigan anyways and it just worked out perfectly that we ended up going out on our first date mm -hmm. and then you asked me to be your girlfriend like the next day. The week, yeah, that week. <laughs> relationship grew fast and I think we had a lot of honesty at the beginning and saying this is what I want and this is what we're looking for and so we just came to the conclusion like we feel like we're best for each other and we complement each other and we help each other grow and succeed in life. When you are in a long distance relationship and you're really intentional about it you spend a lot of time just talking to each other obviously you're talking on the phone but when you're just straight talking to a person for like weeks on end, you really learn a lot about the person and you grow really, really close. At the time, we definitely did not like it. It was not like ideal. But looking back, it really did help us grow our relationship. And I don't think our relationship would be the same if we hadn't been in a long distance relationship. It created trust. It created communication skills, intentionality with our relationship. And I think those are big pillars in our, in our relationship. It made every visit we had with each other, which was about like once a month or so, really, really extra sweet and amazing. The more we talked, the more I realized just genuinely how kind you are and how like loving and sweet you are and how you show your love to others. And then of course, you're very handsome as well. So I was very intrigued by that as well. I can't lie that the first thing that, that drew my attention was how beautiful she was. She was very confident, very sure of herself. And when I began to start talking to you, like all that was true, but even more so you were also kind and like you were hospitable and caring about other people's feelings. You were very like, tender hearted and compassionate. I look at you and I'm like, that's who I want to be. I saw how much of a servant heart you have. Of you just always are helping other people, whether they ask for it or not, whether you realize it or not as well. And so I thought that was very attractive. And then also you're a man of God, which is very clear to anybody who knows you. I just feel so grateful that you're in my life because I never thought, like truly, I never thought that I would ever be like loved and appreciated as much as you love and appreciate me. I didn't really know that kind of love existed in real life. It's a great feeling being with someone who puts your needs first and then you also put their needs before your own. And it's just something I had never experienced before. It really feels like, oh yeah, you're my person, no matter what. God really put us at a specific time, in a specific place, so that we can like be together. Mm -hmm. And it went quickly, but it's because it was God's timing mm -hmm. and it was perfect timing. I would not change a single thing about our entire relationship. Even the long distance, it sucked at the time, but it really did help us grow really close to each other. Because when you're in a long distance relationship, you have to be very intentional about spending time with each other. You have to be extremely considerate of the other person. It was a pretty big whirlwind, but I mean, it was perfect. My sweet Daniel, when I look back at my life and reflect on all the many blessings I've received, I can say that without a doubt, you are the most precious gift I've been blessed with by God. You are my best friend, my rock, my partner, and my lover. My life took a beautiful turn the minute I met you, and standing here today, I am humbled and beyond excited to become your wife. Daniel, you have shown me what true, genuine, and godly love looks like. You show me that same love every day. 
You are an amazing man, from your glowing kindness that radiates and impacts all those around you, to your gentle servant heart. You astound me again and again with your genuine kindness, and I truly cannot imagine a life without you in it. When thinking about our love story, both now and in the future, one of our favorite songs, I Can't Help Falling In Love With You by Elvis, comes to mind. Right now, I can't give you immense amounts of riches, but today I'm giving you something else. Just like the lyrics say, take my hand, take my whole life too. Today, I'm giving you my whole life. From this day forward, I am yours. Daniel, I promise to love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly. I vow to be your unwavering support, your rock in times of need, and your partner in all of life's adventures. I promise to cherish and respect you, honoring the person you are and the person you aspire to become. I have no doubt that together we will build a life filled with joy, laughter, love, and an unbreakable bond. I couldn't have been blessed with a better life partner. I never want you to worry or feel unsafe, unheard or unloved. With me, you will always be safe, heard, and loved deeply. Daniel, you are truly my best friend. I am so thrilled and proud to soon call you my husband. I love you so much. Elizabeth, soon to be Garcia. Dear Elizabeth, I want to let you know that I have prayed for you my entire life. As a kid, when I would ask God to have the most beautiful wife in the world, it was you he had in mind. Without knowing, I would pray for your safety and protection, trusting that he would watch over you. When I matured, I would ask God to make me the man that you want as your husband. He showed me that I can only be that by being more like him. When I asked for God to show me who you were, he waited for just the right time to bring us together. A time when we could truly glorify Him together. This morning, on the day of our wedding, I prayed to God that I would be half the man you deserve. Because even if I could give you the world, you would deserve twice that. So I promised to give you all of myself to you and leave nothing behind. That I would sacrifice my own needs and put you before myself. Because that's what Christ would do. I promise that I will serve you and lead our family in righteousness and godliness. I promise no matter where we're at, I'll make you feel at home. I promise no matter how much we change, my love will never change for you. And I promise if memory fades, I'll never forget you. You are the love of my life. You are my best friend. You are my better half. All I can say is thank you. Thank you for showing me what true love means. Thank you for showing me how bright and beautiful the world looks when you're in it. And thank you for showing me a deeper meaning of what it means to follow Jesus. I look at you and I see my life. I see my future, I see a miracle from God. I promise you will never leave my prayers, and it will be me and you together forever. With all my love, Daniel. I'm really excited for all that we're going to do in the future, career-wise, and then also like all those other goals that we have together. We're gonna travel for like two months. At the end of the travels, we'll come back and settling into like everyday life, I'm even excited for that. I've been figuring out life together because we don't really have a precise, exact plan, but we're both okay with that. Like we know that it's gonna work out and we're gonna figure it out together and that's a great feeling. We are going to go into life, not sure about what a year from now will look like, what five years now from will look like, what 10 years now will look like. It's okay because I'm okay with doing that with you and I couldn't have asked for anyone better to do it with.